All right, you want to look younger, live longer, and be stronger? Well, these shrubs produce a tiny fruit called sea buckthorn. It is the new Miracle Berry. I'm going to tell you why this little berry makes a big difference and can change the way your skin looks, your weight, and even your poop. <laughs> So I'm going to break a rule that I that I made going into these videos and I'm going to review something that's frozen. Now I come across a lot of fruits that have been preserved in some way, either like as a jam or dried or jarred. Uh, this is something that's frozen, but I'm giving this one a pass for a good reason. And that's because this is a fruit that although you can eat it fresh, it's not good fresh. You need to blet it. And bletting is a process where you let the sugars inside of fruit kind of like increase by letting it frost or by letting it rot. Quince is one of those fruits, meddlers are one of those fruits, and so are sea buckthorns. Another thing about freezing though is that also one of the harvesting techniques of this thing is you actually cut off a branch and you freeze it and it makes the berries fall off easier because I guess it's uh, they're kind of like difficult to get off. Uh, so this is normally found frozen. I think finding it fresh is probably going to be kind of tricky anyway. I found this at a um, at a Russian supermarket. They had this and they also had uh, preserves made out of it, like a jam sort of thing. So I got this. There's nothing added to it or anything. It's just frozen sea buckthorn. Hey. Now, there is a lot of hype around sea buckthorn. Sea buckthorn is one of those fruits that it's gotten a lot of attention. I believe Dr. Oz talked about it on his show. It's like noni or acai. It's, it's a fruit that a lot of people are running out and buying this stuff, expecting it to cure all their life's problems. Uh, some of the things that it's supposed to be good for is clearing up acne. It, there is some like oil in this. It's like not. Um, it's kind of strange in that way. That does have fat in it, so it's an oil, but it's not comedogenic, so it doesn't clog pores. So it's used in a lot of beauty products. So there might be something to that. Um, it contains omega seven, which is a fat that's supposed to be good for you. It's a good fat, so people say it's good for uh, weight loss because it makes you feel full without uh, having to you know, eat a lot of bad stuff, um, or bad fat. It's supposed to be good for, uh, regrowing your hair, uh, heart problems, uh, cancer. This is supposed to be like a miracle, a miracle fruit of some kind. Um, and honestly, like, I, I'm not gonna try to sell you this stuff. I am extremely skeptical. I think that sea buckthorn is probably pretty good for you as like a nutritional uh, supplement to have just some kind of like for the vitamins and the good fat and stuff like that. I think that stuff is true, but take it for what it is, okay? If you are going to take sea buckthorn or acai or uh, noni or anything else for that matter, any kind of herbal supplement, do your research, okay? Do a lot of it. If you're not seeing a lot of sci scientific evidence saying that it's actually going to help you, it's probably not going to help you how you expect it to. Don't expect incredible results from taking any of these kinds of things, okay? Don't go running off to the store and buying the juice and like all of that shit because like maybe it'll help you, but those companies that are selling sea buckthorn juice or noni juice and all that, they're trying to sell it like it's going to be a cure-all for your problems. And it's just snake oil, okay? It, maybe it helps you a little bit, but it's not gonna just like magically help you. And to spend like, I don't even know how much this stuff is, but it's real, like it's a juice. Like I bought it at a Russian market and this was like six bucks. So that's pretty cheap, you know, it's actually pretty good. I say like, if you want to, um, have some of this for the nutritional benefits, go to a Russian market, don't buy the juice, okay? The juice people can take down my video for all I care. Don't don't buy like the $20 for an 8 ounce thing of juice, like, cause that's just like, that's just a waste of your money. They're taking advantage of you. 
by giving you something that maybe is good for you, but it's not good the way that they say it's good. So I blathered on enough about this, so let's talk about the taste. Now I um, let some of it defrost here. So these have been thoroughly bledded. Ooh, it's got a very heady aroma, very, very sharp smell, but it's good. It's it's not a bad smell. It smells a little bit like, I don't know, it reminds me of like cider, like, like mulled cider. Here's uh, here's the sea buckthorn, here's a nice close-up shot of it, and... Oh, that is, that is a flavor expo explosion. <coughs> oh, it's making me drool. It's really sour. Um, it tastes good, though. It's good. You know, I was expecting, like, with this being, like, a nutritional, like, herbal medical medicine sort of thing, I assumed it's going to taste like crap, like noni tastes like crap. But, um, no, this is actually pretty good. It would be really good if you were to mix it into a juice or put it in a smoothie. Um, it's got a lot of flavor in it. It's got a lot of vitamin C in it too, so you would uh, you definitely perk up like whatever you're putting it in. Um, the flavor is a little difficult to describe, but it's familiar. I would say it's got an orange kind of flavor, like a very sour orange or no, like kumquat, like kumquat flavor. A little bit of kumquat in there. It's got like a little cream flavor, like a little like, um, creamsicle sort of flavor because you got the orange and cream. Uh, I think that's probably due to the fat content in here. So it's got like a little little oily taste, a little like creamy oily taste to it. I think the mulling smell is actually because this is like, I mean, on the, on the cover it's got like little pine needle sort of thing. So this might be like kind of like a pine needle like similar um, plant to like a, to like an evergreen or like a pine tree or something so I think that might be why I have that mulling um, that mulling scent but the flavor doesn't taste like apples it's just got like that call like I don't know like hearty like uh, earthy wintry kind of pine needle-y sort of sort of scent to it a little bit of the flavor too. Tastes a little bit like pine needles, um, in a way. But I think pine needles and orange also kind of smell similar. Smell it. It's true. Um, gooseberries, tart gooseberries. It's got like a tart gooseberry flavor as well. So there's a lot of stuff going on in there. I think like if you are going to buy this stuff, um, I would mix it with sugar, make a juice out of it. Uh, make a jam out of it, something like that. I think you could probably do a lot with this stuff, but just like popping them straight is kind of brutal. Um, but in summation, kind of like if you took a kumquat, creamsicle, uh, some pine needles, and some gooseberries and mixed it all together, that doesn't sound too bad. So um, flavor-wise, check, check this out. If you're going into this for health purposes, like you are having this just to be healthy, uh, I would say try to be reasonable about it. Don't let your expectations get too high. I think uh, this is a perfectly fine thing to have, you know, in your diet. It's, it's it does have a lot of vitamins in it. Uh, sea buckthorn actually has some of like the highest uh, vitamin C out of any fruit. I think acerola is more, but um, it's got like a lot of vitamin C in it. Uh, and the vitamin A too, and some good fat in there. So it is good for you. It's a good supplement, okay? So you can eat this and in the long run, it'll probably be, probably be good for you. But do your research, okay? Do a lot of research and do it from reputable um, sources. Don't go to like seabuckthornjuice.com because then someone's gonna just try to sell you bullshit. There's a website, um, doesitreallywork.com, and that was a really good resource for me uh, when when I look at fruit 
and, and I want to talk about the, about the medical stuff because they look at it in uh, like a like a very um, a skeptical point of view, but they do talk about like what is actually good for it. Like I don't want to completely discount fruit. Fruit is healthy, okay, and different fruits have things that are good for you. Don't expect any dramatic results from it. And I bought a pound of sea buckthorn. There's a lot of stuff in here, so let's see what I can do with it. Bye-bye. <laughs> 